if any input is false, the output will always be false. So it will Devi Shetty, Big Computer Engineering, passing on next year. Over here, we are doing a Java workshop covering all Java basics so that other students can easily clear the technical ground of various companies that come up. We are covering the entire core Java, uh, including strings, arrays, how they are different from C, what are best developer practices in Java, what is a uh, good core practice to be followed throughout the entire development career. What are the tools actually used in industry? We won't be working on command line stuff, we will be using Eclipse, NetBeans, the tools that are actually they work in the industry. Short circuit all. If you are using two of those, it's short circuit all. 9 is greater than 10, false. Then it will check for A is less than B. True. How this this uh, scope will get executed. But what if X was Less than y. True. It won't check for this condition again. If any input is false, the output will always be false. So it won't evaluate this. It won't check for this condition. So one operation less in memory. It's faster this way. If I just make it a single line, it will check for this and it will also check for this condition. So this will give me true, but 0 and 1, false. So the out, this loop on. Understood? Or logic, anyone can, who wants to type no code? I told you how I think when any use for it. Developers always find shortcuts in everything. Short and operations. Int a equal to 10. I want to add 2 to this value. What do I do usually? A is equal to A plus 2. Right? Short end operation. A plus equal to 2. Definitely add it over here itself, but not a good practice. No errors, right? One int, keyword. Using multiple variables. I got four of my variables initialized and declared. Short and hand. Uh, Explain short and hand. And logic. If any one of the inputs is zero, output will always be zero. Divya. If any one of the inputs is zero, output will always be zero. 